What's good, y'all? It's your boy AJ, and welcome to iOS 17. Now, I've been looking forward to this ever since it got first announced. All the features were so freaking firing, man. I ain't here to waste no time. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Hit that subscribe button because it's absolutely free. On the road to 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one, man. Let's get into this list. All right, first up, we got personal voice. So what you wanna do is go to your settings, go to accessibility, scroll down to personal voice. And now this is where you um create like a AI personal voice of yourself. Now this is basically for people who um, who has a disease where they can't like really speak anymore. So this is this will uh, help them right here. And I think this is pretty fire. Like I did it and you, I think it does it overnight. So I'm gonna have to get back to you guys tomorrow to see how it is. But basically what you have to do is um say 150 phrases and it said it lasts 15 minutes. But to be honest, it's gonna take you about like 20, 30 minutes to do that. But it's still pretty fire. You say a whole bunch of random phrases and then it compiles all that and then creates a synthesized, synthesized voice of your own. So yeah, that's pretty neat. All right, next up we got airdrop. So you wanna, what you wanna do is go to your settings, go to general, go to airdrop. Now, this is gonna be on by default. The reason why I turn it off because these are like already next to each other and it's gonna keep going like on and off, on and off like all day. So I turn it off just for now, but this feature is really fire. Basically, instead of like just manually sharing everything, you could just um, click on the photo and then just put the phones right next to each other side by side. And then it's gonna like match is gonna happen. Let me show you guys. All right, so I got this picture right here, right? Pretty fire. And I don't have to like click on like airdrop or anything. Just click on the photo, put the phones together like this. Then the match is gonna happen. It says uh, waiting to receive, iPhone connected. All you gotta do is press share. Boom, there we go right there. Speaking of name drop, you can actually customize your um, contact photo and poster. So um, so when you call somebody, whatever you create it is gonna pop up on their phone, which is pretty freaking awesome, man. So how you do it is go to your uh, contacts, click on your, uh, your, uh, your contact card, click edit right here, click edit again. And then this is what I have right here. So whoever I call, this is gonna show up on their screen. So as you can see, I made a bunch of them. Let's create a new one. So basically you get to either uh, take a picture now with the camera, upload a, a photo from the photos app, uh, make a Memoji or use monogram, which is just text. All right, so this is what's looking like right here. You get to change the actual size and font of the, um, the letter pretty cool got different colors the whole spectrum and everything it's pretty neat pretty neat and then once you're done hit done hit done and then you got a contact photo you can either use the same picture or choose a different one. I'm gonna choose the same picture. Next up, we got new wallpapers. So open the wallpapers in settings or wherever you do it. Here it is, collections, this one. I'm rocking that right now on both phones, but this is a new one. And then if you go down to um, astronomy, We got different planets. We got Mars, we got Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, solar system. And we even got um, Mercury and Venus. Yeah, Venus and Mercury, which is pretty fire. All right, so we got the new and improved keyboard. So the autocorrect is 10 times better than what it was in iOS 16. 
and then I know what you're thinking. Where's all the app icons I was on, on top? They're all on the side now. Put everything on the side. Pretty cool. Got all your apps and everything right there. Yes, sir. All right, so we got stickers. So basically you can choose any photo, press and hold on it. It's gonna do the little thing like that. You can exit out, go to photos, add it on there. And press in. And you can attach this to the um to messages and everything too, which is pretty cool. All right, next up so we got live voicemail for FaceTime and regular phone calls. Now again, I can't test this because once again, this doesn't have any service, but basically when you're calling somebody and they're not answering the phone on their end, they can see like whatever you're saying in real time. And then they can answer it like right in the middle of you saying that, which is, you can do it. It's pretty cool. I, I don't know what to say, man. It's pretty cool. It is really cool. I really want to try that. Then with FaceTime, you get to do um, video voicemails where you can record yourself as a voicemail, which is pretty insane. All right, next up, we got music settings and new features. Now, what you want to do is go to settings, go to music, and then now there's a new option where it says crossfade. So like, basically it's just like Spotify. Like when a song about to end, it's gonna automatically transition into the next song seamlessly. And it sounds pretty fire. I will play some of my music, but all my music is copyrighted. So I can't really like, you know, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you can change the seconds of it. And there's animated art now, which is pretty insane. I need to figure out how to do that for my own music art, but it's gonna be lit, it is lit. Next up, we have Siri settings. So what you wanna do is go to settings, go to Siri and search, listen for. All right, so basically, instead of just saying, hey Siri, you can just say Siri, or you can just say, hey Siri, like the default, or just turn it off. And now with Siri, if you ask Siri something, it continues the conversation, it's gonna keep on listening to you, which is pretty insane and wild. So let me try it out. Siri. Uh-huh. Is it gonna rain in Los Angeles, California? It doesn't look like it's going to rain today in Los Angeles, California. By the way, if you have another request, you don't need to say Siri before you ask it. What about tomorrow? It doesn't look like it's going to rain tomorrow in Los Angeles, California. What about on Saturday? It doesn't look like it's going to rain on Saturday in Los Angeles, California. Thank you. You're welcome. See how seamless that was? So fluid. All right, next up we have standby mode and I have to do it on my bed because I don't have a charger at my, um, at my desk. So I have to go on my bed and do it. So basically you don't need no MagSafe charger or anything like that. It's made for it, but you don't really need it. You can just use any charger as long as it's sideways and it's charging. So turn off your phone, make sure your orientation is um, off. Don't, don't have it on or lock, have it off. So turn your phone off, plug it in, have it sideways. There we go, standby mode, different stuff. Got photos and you got a standalone clock. This, oh, I like that one. Yeah, I definitely like that one. But yeah, that's standby mode. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with your friends, hit subscribe because it's absolutely free, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.